Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brett into Crips of Beer again, and uh, tonight I'm going to review another pumpkin ale. Um, and this is actually my second review within several hours. And uh, tonight we are going to be reviewing a top selling one, or at least uh, one of the top selling pumpkin beers at my local store. Uh, this is the Southern Tier. Uh, pumpkin ale and um, as the title suggests of course it's uh, pumpkin ale as I just said a thousand times um, this is an imperial pumpkin ale though and a quick rule of thumb for those of you who are still kinda new to uh, the beer scene and all that when you see the word imperial, that probably means you should drink this very slow, because it'll knock you off your ass. Um, and this particular beer is 8.6% alcohol, so I'm going to be sipping this very slowly. Um, and I love the description on here, because, uh, I mean, it's, it's a little lengthy, and I'm not going to read it, but uh, just a little excerpt from it. Um, Pumpkin, and I'm probably going to butcher some of the pronunciation on this, but uh, Pumpkin is an ode to uh, pu pu Puka, pu I don't know, um, a creature of Celtic folk folklore who is both feared and respected by those who believe in it. Um, and I'm a sucker for all things uh, Celtic, Norse, uh, you know, anything that's got some sort of pagan background. I am not a pagan, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not a sucker for that sort of stuff. I just, I find it very interesting. Um, this beer is brewed with pagan spirit, yet should be enjoyed with responsibility. Um, I just, I don't know. I love that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, we're going to crack it open now. Smells nice. Okay, and it's suggested on the bottle that uh, let's see. Well, it says use a goblet, but you know, obviously anything shaped like a goblet or whatever. Um, I'm going to be pouring it into this uh, Mother Earth snifter, basically shaped like a goblet, whatever. Okay. It's already looking very beautiful. All right. Uh, not much head retention there. About about a quarter of a finger's length uh, width there. Sorry, but it's it's like very a very thin layer. As a matter of fact, this little bit of it's already dissolved. So. Uh, not much to the head retention there, which is kind of disappointing in a way. Um, but the color is nice. It's uh, it's a very bright orange, sort of yellow color. Um, and it's super, super clear, other than the fact that this, this uh, glass is now frosted because of the temperature and all that. But it looks really, really nice. I love the color of this beer. Um, as far as the aroma is concerned, whoa, that's a lot of pumpkin. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it, it smells like a pumpkin pie. I'm almost getting sort of a uh, little bit of corn in there. almost like a sort of a sweet corn um, yeah it's sort of I'm getting the the pumpkin sort of a corn kind of thing going there
That's a that's an interesting aroma for a pumpkin beer. Um, I can't wait to try it out. So, uh, cheers, everyone. Hmm. That's a sipping beer. Um. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's gonna take a while to get down. Um, yeah, it's it's very boozy right off the bat. Um, the mouthfeel is medium to high. I mean, you can you can tell right off the bat that it's it's a very. I mean, it, it it's not extremely thick, but you can definitely tell it apart from most other beers it, it's pretty thick um, not so thick that you could chew it per se but um, let's see here yeah there's definitely a lot of pumpkin in there and the booziness doesn't really it doesn't really come in until like in the aftertaste but it's it's only very faint so you know if you don't really like the boozy taste and like high gravity beers then you know this might be good for you um it it's sort of i don't know like i'm sort of tasting a bit of a like a sweet corn kind of taste in this um, it's a very very interesting beer uh, it's it's not like the fall horn in where you know it, it tasted like a pumpkin pie like just a straight-up pumpkin pie um, yeah I mean the pumpkin is definitely there but let's see. Um, it says here. It doesn't say anything about spices. It just says it was brewed with a pureed pumpkin. So, um, very interesting beer. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean the the pumpkin is pretty strong in this beer compared to the Fall Hornin. Um so but you know, for some reason I, I don't know if it's like the mixture of that with the with the malts or whatever, but you know, I just I, I can't help but sort of think of corn for some reason. Now I'm sure corn wasn't actually used in this, or else I wouldn't be drinking it. I'm pretty picky about that sort of stuff. Um, but there's a very nice uh, sweetness that counterbalances it, and uh, I don't know, I, I think it works wonders. I do. Um, it's definitely a very as I've been saying a thousand times, you know, it's it's a very interesting beer. I'll probably give it um, an 8.5. Uh, you definitely do not want to be chugging this one back, because uh, it will knock you off your ass. <clears throat> um, 8.6% 8. 8 alcohol that will do you in. And this is probably going to be my last beer of the day. Um, so, yeah, 8.5 out of 10. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you like what you see, then please feel free to subscribe. And uh, if you use Tumblr, I'll put the link in the description as always. 
And as I usually end the videos, keep it metal. Cheers.